welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to play another game from our two, 1905 uh, New York Giants season replay, game number 52. Um, we just played one um, against the Pittsburgh Pirates, um, game number 51, of course. And uh, game number 52 we saw was against the first place Chicago Cubs. And the uh, Giants are currently one game out of first place. They are 36 and 15, and the Cubs are 38 and 15. So hopefully, uh, if we can get a win and get Chicago lost, we can get a gain a tie for first place today. So this is a, a big game early on in the season. So let's get our lineup here. And Christy Mathewson is going to be on the hill. And let's uh, get this game underway. Pitching for Chicago, Buttons, Briggs. Leading off for New York, center fielder, Mike Donlin. Alright. So we did get a picture from Buttons Briggs, but I guess there is one more Jack McCarthy. We did not get a picture of, so yeah, not a big deal. And the catcher too, actually, we didn't get a one of two. Um, but anyway, no worries there. So, all right, so let's get Mr. Brody set up here where he's not going to be in the way when he comes back. So, Buttons Briggs on the hill. He comes in with a record of 3-4 and four in the season with a 4.64 earn run average. Was 8-8 eight and eight in the actual season with a 2.14. So, he has not performed as up to his standards for the season. This would be his uh, be the last season in the major leagues. He only played like four years. And this would be his last. Um, so for the New York Giants, pretty standard lineup there. Although Gilbert is back in the lineup today after getting a day off in yesterday's game. So Mike Donlin, center field, will lead it off, followed by uh, Gary Brown. Not Gary Brown. <laughs> I know a Gary Brown. Um forget his name George Brown the right fielder Roger Bresnahan behind in the plate Dan McGann the first baseman batting cleanup Sam Mertes is in the left field batting fifth Art Devlin the third baseman will hit sixth followed by Bill Dallin who had an 11 game hit streak snap last game so he's looking to start another one today the shortstop bat seven Gilbert the second baseman will hit eighth Back in the lineup today, and Christy Mathewson, a Hall of Famer, will bat ninth. Roger Bresnahan, also a Hall of Famer, too. So, Briggs on the hill. Not much for defense there, as you can see with his two rating. McCarthy, Stagel, and Maloney in the outfield for the Cubs. Stagel with the best range out in center. Actually, Maloney with the best uh, defense out in right field with a 9. Stego above average with an 8. And McCarthy slightly below average with a 4. In the infield, it's going to be Casey Tinker Hoffman at second and Chance, so you'll have no Tinker to Evers to Chance in this one. Maybe Tinker to Hoffman to Chance. But anyway, um, Tinker, excellent shortstop with a 10 rating. Everybody else pretty much average, around average. Um, behind the plate, O'Neill is above average. So Briggs looks in for the sign. Donlin steps into the box, gets ready to grip and rip. Here's the pitch at west side grounds. There's going to be a base hit. Right fielder, George Brown. Sorry, west side park. Um, where they played until they went to Wrigley Field, they believe. Um, anyway, George Brown up now, as it's going to be a base hit for Donlin, so good start. He was thrown out trying to steal a hit last time. Um, he reached in the first inning, so we're not going to do that. We're going to go with a hit and run, though, as George Brown is a 7 for hit and run. George Brown comes in hitting 323 with two homers, 38 runs batted in, four doubles, eight triples. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a base hit past the shortstop, Tinker. Tinker. 
So Don went off on the pitch with a hit and run going. So it'd be first and third with nobody out for Roger Bresnahan. Bresnahan comes in hitting 364 off to a great start. 25 runs batted in. 11 doubles and 2 triples. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a base hit. That'll score the Donlin. And we are not going to chance it. Nobody out. So an RBI single for Bresnahan will put the Giants on the board. So first and second, nobody out for Dan McGann. Comes in hitting 295 with three homers, 46 runs batted in, eight doubles, and five triples. Briggs looks in for the sign, looks at the runners, and delivers a strike with a swing and a miss. One and one the count now, way inside. Popped up behind the plate. This one's going to reach the stands as O'Neill gives chase. So one and two the count now. And that is going to be a... Miracles. <laughs> oh, looks like Brown got too far off the bag. Hold on there. No, that's not it. Line to the pitcher. Okay. So it's going to be a double play as Brown gets too far off the bag and they turn a, a double play. So that was kind of hard to read there on that ball. But anyway, so two outs now. Sam Merte is up to the plate now. 268 with two homers and 29 runs batted in. 10 doubles, four triples. Here's a delivery by Briggs. And it's going to be a strike one called. Count evens at one, high and tight. Two and one the count now. Count evens at two. And that is going to be a fly ball to left in that will be the end of the inning. New York one, Chicago coming to bat. Pitching for New York, Christy Mathewson. Leading off for Chicago, right fielder, Billy Maloney. So the Giants only able to get one off that, out of that inning. But they do give Christy Mathewson a lead. So Mathewson comes in with a 7-4 record on the season, 1.80 earn run average. 100 innings pitched, only 80 hits allowed. One home run, 12 walks, 31 strikeouts for the Hall of Famer. So the defense behind him is going to be Mertes in left, Donlin in center, Brown in right. Average to below average defensively in the outfield. But not very good arms with Brown and Donlin with average arms in center and right. Devlin, Dolan, Gilbert, and McGann in the infield. Devlin and Dolan above average on the left side. Gilbert slightly above average at second and McGann average at third. Bresnan behind the plate above average and Mathewson below average on the hill. So the lineup for the hometown Chicago Cubs is going to be Maloney the right field and will lead it off followed by Slagle in center. Chance and the first baseman will bat third. Batting cleanup is McCarthy, the left fielder. Hoffman, the second baseman, hits fifth. Tinker, the shortstop, sixth. Casey, the third baseman, seventh. O'Neill behind the plate will hit eighth. And Briggs on the mound will bat ninth. So Maloney lead it off. Maloney hitting 292 with 18 runs batted in. Eight doubles, two triples. And that is going to be a fly ball to center. Center fielder. Donlin goes back and makes the catch for out number one. So, Jimmy Slagle up now, 232 hitter, 23 runs batted in, five doubles and a triple. Pitch by Matheson, straight up the box and up the middle for a base hit. So, Slagle definitely a threat to steal, has nine stolen bases on the season, so Matheson will check on the runner back safely. So Dean Chance up now. Chance comes in hitting 321, close to his season average of 315. 16 runs batted in, 6 doubles and 2 triples. Matheson looks in for the sign, looks at the runner, kicks and delivers. And it's going to be a ball. Next pitch. 
And that's going to be a ground ball. This could be two. Gilbert over to Dallin for one. Back to McGann. And they turn the 4-6-3 double play. So McCarthy up now. With two down and the base is empty. McCarthy, 308 hitter. Seven runs batted in. Two double, one double and three triples. It's going to be ball one. Matthewson looks over to first. Chances back safely. Goes over again. Goes over a third time. Wow, he just keeps getting a better percentage there. He goes over again. All right, Matthewson looks in for the sign. This time he delivered to the plate. And it's going to be called strike one. So one and one the count now. Two and one now. Matheson over to first. He's back safely. Over to first again. So McCarthy now. He's off with the pitch, and it's going to be safe. So chance in there with a stolen base. Two and two the count now. So a base hit could score a run. And just like that. That will score the run. Second base, As they hit the cutoff man down. So that stolen base proves big as the Cubs tie the game at one. So McCarthy delivers an RBI single. Hoffman up to the plate now. 282 hitter with 14 runs batted in. Seven doubles, two triples. Ball one. Throw up first. And he's back safely. Throw again. Back safely again, one more time. And he throws it away this time, so one too many times he threw over there. So now another runner in scoring position. So 2-0 the count. Matthewson seems frazzled now by the base runners. And it's going to be a screwball for strike one, 2-1. And, and that's a line out to Devlin at third. New York 1, Chicago 1, third baseman. Art Devlin. But Cubs do get one, and it's 1-1 one, one after one. So Art Devlin lead it off. Third baseman, 246, 29 runs batted in. Four doubles, six triples. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a foul ball down the left field line. So 0-2 the count now on Devlin. And that'll be a base hit. So lead off single Short for the top. Giants. Field. Dolan. Devlin, 59 stolen bases on the se uh, on the actual season, eight so far in this season. I think we're going to try to steal here, so see if Devlin can get a jump here. He's off with the pitch, and he'll be in there easily. So Devlin with his, I think, 10th stolen base of the season now. Oh, number nine, nine stolen bases. So go ahead, run in scoring position for Dolan. Looking to start another hitting streak after his 11 game hitting streak was snapped yesterday. And it's going to be inside on the block. Strike two. So 0 2 the count now on Dallin. And he'll strike out on three pitches. So Billy Gilbert, after a day off yesterday, gets a start today. 245 hitter with 18 runs batted in, five doubles and a triple. And cut on and miss. Strike one. Swung again. 0 oh 2 the count now. So Gilbert quickly in the hole. 1 and 2 now. Kind of even at 2. So full count now on Gilbert. And he'll work a walk after going 0 oh 2. Christy Matthewson. Oh, it's got a wild pitch there for that ball for that ball four there. So Devlin will advance to third. So I'll put runners at the corners with one down for the pitcher, Matthewson. Matthewson hitting just 105 on the replay, 236 on the actual season, so not an automatic out, although he has struggled this season. Two runs batted in. So a base hit could give the Giants the lead here. So ball one, outside and low. 2-0 the count now, so good hitter's count. Had a good swing at that one. So two and one the count now. And that will be a deep, 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 deep. And nice catch by the center fielder. 
Stego, but that'll be way deep enough to get the run home. So, a sacrifice fly. Well, what would have been a sacrifice fly for Matthewson? No sacrifice flies as of yet, I don't believe. Uh, but anyway, uh, that'll get the run home. Nonetheless, and it's 2-1 to one Giants now. So, Matthewson able to deliver there. So, that'll bring up Donlin, who won for one on the day. Gilbert at first, and that's going to be a foul ball down the first baseline. So he count evens at one. And outside corner, strike two. One and two, the count on Donlin. Count evens at two. And that's going to be a base hit for Donlin, his second hit of the day. And Gilbert will move advance to third as he goes off on the pitch with two down. So runners at the corners for George Brown. Single his first time up, and it's going to be one and zero. Oh. And it's going to be curve looked at for strike one, one and one. And that's going to be a base. Oh, it's not nice play by Hoffman to end the inning. No errors. Thought that was going to go through there. One. Short stop, Joe Tinker. But the uh, Giants get a run and go on top two to one. So it'll be Tinker. Casey and O'Neill for the Cubs. Joe Tinker, 284 hitter on the season with in the replay with two home runs and 26 runs batted in. Six doubles, three triples. Matheson looks in for the sign from Bresnan. He has the windup in the pitch. And that's going to be hit back to the box. Matheson has it over to first for out number one. So Doc Casey up now, 238 on the season with 25 runs batted in. Eight doubles, four triples. And that's going to be a base hit down the line. Going to be extra bases going for three, and he'll be in there. So Casey with a triple to left. So one out triple now that'll bring up the catcher O'Neill. And the Giants are going to bring the corners in, trying to cut off the run at home. So O'Neill, 292 hitter. Oh, just a 198 hitter on the actual season. But 292 so far in the replay with six runs batted in. It's going to be ball one in tight. And it's going to be swing and miss. One and one the count now. Two and one the count. And that's going to be a hit. And they're going to try to cut the runner off at home, and they get him. Pincher buttons. So playing the infield in. Devlin's able to throw to Bresnahan, and Bresnahan is going to tag him up. It looks like it was up the line. Um, looks like Bresnahan um, decided to get the ball half down the line there and is able to get the runner out trying to score. So playing the infield didn't definitely help there. So Neil reaches on the field his choice. So that'll bring up Briggs. pitcher he's a just an 048 hitter on the season just one hit and 21 at bats and that's gonna be a, out of play to the left behind mr. Brody over there actually it looks like miss mags is in the coho seat Ooh, I scared her miss mags was in the coho seat one and one the count now Throw over to first. I think he's back safely. So one and two the count now. And that's going to be a hit back to the box. Matheson order first no to errors. end the inning. One hit, no errors. New York two, Chicago one. So it remains two to one as we head to the third. Bresnahan leads it off. Singled his first time up. RBI single. And he gets plunked this time. So Bresnahan will reach. Again up now. And I think we're going to go with a hit and run here. And that will keep them out of the double play anyway. As Bresnahan advances to second. So Sam Merte is up now. 0 for 1. Outside corner for strike 1. 1 and 1 the count now. And that's going to be hit to short this... That will... Tinker holds the runner, Bresnahan at second. And 
retires Mertes for out number two. So Art Devlin up now. Singled his first time up. High and tight for ball one. Strike one call. One and one now. Swing and a miss for strike two. So one and two now on Devlin. And he strikes him out. So a big strikeout. Keeps it a 2-1 game. So Matson back on the hill for his third inning of work. Maloney up now. 0 for 1. Strikes him out. So that's the first K of the day for Matthewson. So Stegel singled his first time up. And it's going to be ground ball tonight. Great play by Gilbert. Showing great range there. And he's able to throw to McCann for out number one. Two, sorry, out number two. So two outs now. The base is empty for Chance. He's 0 for 1. And another ground ball to Gilbert. This is a little easier. And 1, 2, 3, go the Cubs. No hits, no errors. New York 2, Chicago 1. So we head to the fourth with the score the Giants 2 and the Cubs 1. Dowling up now. 0 for 1 so far today. And that's going to be a fly ball to right. Maloney has it sized up and makes the catch for out number one. Got to bring up Billy Gilbert. Just made a great play last inning. Great defensive play, and he strikes out. So that did not transfer to the to his hitting. So Matthewson up with two outs and the base is empty. 0 for 1. And he'll line out to center for out number three. So Giants go quietly in the fourth. And it remains 2-1 to one as we head to the home half of the fourth. So McCarthy up now. Singled his first time up. Scoring the lone Chicago run so far. And this time he hits it back to the box. Matheson gets it over to first for out number one. Top of the order, Hoffman 0 for 1. And that is going way back, 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 back. And nice running catch by Donlin. The second out of the inning. Well, that was on top of the order. It was number five there. So, uh, Tinker up now. He's 0 for 1 today. No runs. And second no strikeout runs. comes at a good time for Matthewson. Chicago one. So, 2 to 1 as we head to the fifth. So, Donlin's perfect 2 for 2. See if he can keep that going. And he will not as Briggs gets his fourth strikeout of the day. He's walked a batter. So, Brown now 1 for 2 up to the plate. And Brown will answer with a base hit. So one out base runner. I think we're gonna try to steal here. What's the 85% chance? Yeah, I'm gonna give it. We're gonna try to steal. He's getting a good jump here. So he's off with the pitch and here's the throw. And he's in there in plenty of time. So Brown with his seventh steal of the year. Giants running a lot more now than they did in the early part of the season. So a runner in scoring position for Bresley and see if they can add to the giant lead. He had an RBI single his first time up. And lunged at it and missed for strike one. One and one the count now. One and two the count now on Bresnahan. Oh and he gets plunked. So the second batter second time Bresnahan's been hit by the pitch. Preston stares down Briggs, goes to first. So first and second now from again. And it's going to be way outside for ball one. And swing and a miss. One and one the count now. Two and one on him again. Kind of evens at two. And that's going to be a fly ball to left. And that was weird. <laughs> so that goes out of play. So one and Count remains two and two. Count will be full now. See if they send the runners on the pitch. They do not. And that's a foul ball down the right field line. So full count still on McGann. And he, that's going to be ball four. And he'll that'll load the bases for Sam Mertes. For his first hit of the day. So the bases loaded one down for the Giants. Giants looking to break, try to break it open here. Mertes 0 for 2. 
We'll look at one for strike one. And this is a pop-up behind the plate. That'll be out of play as O'Neill gives chase. But well into the stand. So, oh, Marte's quickly in the hole, 0-2. And, and it's going to be a base hit. So he shortened up his swing there and went to the opposite field. And do we want to send Bresnahan? We've already got one. Ugh. I'm going to say no. Now with the catcher running. So one run in. Three to one now for Art Devlin. One for two. Takes a ball high and outside. Ball one. One and one the count now. Two and one on Devlin. Three and one now. No place to put him. And that's going to be a fly ball to right. Bresnahan tags. And he will score. So credit Tinker with the R I mean um, Devlin with the RBI. As it's now a 4-1 lead. So that'll bring up Dolan. 0 for 2. Off the plate inside. So one and one now. Two and one. Count even at two. And that's a fly ball. Play like a pop up to the left. And foul territory. The shortstop. No errors. Tinker will make the catch. Chicago one. But the Giants score two and now lead it four to one as we head to the sit, uh, bottom of the fifth. So Matthews in with a three run lead now. So Casey up to the plate now. He's one for one today. And he'll draw a walk. So move over to first. He's back safely. So that'll bring up O'Neill who's 0 for 1. Strike one. On O'Neill. Swing and a miss. Quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Called strike two. So 0 and 2 now. See if Matson can finish him off. Pop up. That'll go out of play. So the count remains 0 and 2 on O'Neill. Throws over to first. And he's back safely. So one and two the count now. Another foul ball out of play. So the count remains one and two. That's in over to first. And he's back safely. Oh, he's off with the pitch and he'll be safe. So another stolen base for the Cubs. So runner in scoring position now. Two and two on O'Neill. Full count now. And it's a dribble to Gilbert. Over to McGann for out number three as the runner advances to third, but now with two down. So the pitcher up now. Let's see if they keep the pitcher in or they bring in a pinch hitter. And they keep the pitcher in. Briggs, who's 0 for 1. 1 and 1 now. 2 and 1. And that's going to be... Oh, a rare base hit for Briggs. But Briggs gets himself an RBI single. So it's now 4-2. It's a good thing the Giants scored those, tacked on those other two runs in the top half of the fifth. So Maloney up now, 0 for 2. Briggs not a threat to steal ball one. And that is going to be... A 1-6-3 double play. No, actually Maloney's going to beat it out. So two down now. Restego one for two. Maloney is a threat to steal. So Mahoney, so over to first. Shorter lead now. So Stegel up now. And 0-1 the count. Another move by Matthewson over to first. Another one. Again, a good lead off of him now. So 0 and 1. That's going to be a dribble to Devlin. Over to first and. Yeah, it just barely gets him. No errors. New York four. Chicago. So I had to retire the side. So it's 4 2 as we head to the sixth. So it'll be Gilbert. 
Matthewson and Donlin up for the Giants with a two-run lead. Brings back out there. 99 pitches through five innings. This is the pitch to Gilbert and a base hit for Gilbert. And that's one Hoffman should have had. So Gilbert reaches. So Matthewson will be called upon to him. Matthewson, not much of a bunner. They can go with a hit and run here. And that works just like a sacrifice. So Matthewson able to get the runner over. So running in scoring position now for Donlin is two for three. Trying to get that run back. And missed in for ball one. And that's going to be a liner to first. Gilbert dives back to the bag at second. So two down now for George Brown, two for three. And another line out no to the errors. first baseman. One hit. No errors. New York four. Chicago two. So after five and a half, it remains 4 2 Giants. A chance McCarthy and Hoffman. So chance is 0 for 2 on the day. Delivery by. And that's going to fall in there for a base hit. Oh, and Donlin has trouble fielding it, and Donlin will advance to second. It's going to be an E8s on Donlin. So runner in scoring position now. Brings a tying run to the plate, McCarthy. He's one for two. And he's got a bunt. Is that a bunt or is that a dribbler? Not sure exactly what that was, but could have been a check swing. But anyway, uh, that'll get the runner over, but with one down. So Hoffman 0 for 2 up to the plate now. So it's going to be ball one. And that is going to get the run home. So the Giants with the two-run lead will take the shore out over to first. Route number two, the run does come home, so it's 4-3 now. So the Cubs inching closer. Tinker 0 for 2 up to the plate now. The base is empty. And it's going to try for two. And he'll make it as Brown is a little lackadaisical on that. So the tying run is in scoring position now for Casey, who is officially one for one with a walk. Ball one. And it's going to be one and one called strike. So two and one now. And that's going to be a line out. No, it's going to fall in there as... Again, could have gotten that one if he would have leaped there, but it goes over his head. And that'll tie the game at four. So pick off over to first. So much shorter lead now. But now a new ball game, four to four. It's going to be ball one in tight. One and one the count now. And McGann with it. Takes himself to the bag and that won the inning. But Two runs, three hits, one error. New York four, Chicago four. The Cubs score two and it's now 4-4 four, four as we head to the seventh. So two teams battling for first place definitely shows how good both teams are here so it'll be Briggs back out there it'll be Bresnahan McGann and Mertes if anybody gets on it'll be Devlin so Bresnahan officially one for one with a he was hit by a pitch his last two times up and this time we'll draw the walk so we'll go ahead and run on first now from again and it's getting late in the game here I think we're gonna go with the can is a great bunter he might be able to get a base hit we're gonna he's gonna bunt so a nice bunt there they go to first so go ahead run in scoring position for Sam Mertes who's one for three fly ball to right Carthy there makes the catch and Bresnahan's going to tag, and he'll be in there. Got to be sure when you do that. You don't want to make the final out with the go-ahead run there. So two outs now for Devlin. See if Devlin can put the Giants back on top. He's one for three today. Single back in the second. Ball one, just a little bit low. Two and all the count, so a good hitter's count now for Devlin. Three and all the count. So 
Let's see if he's got the green light here. And he walks him on four pitches. I'm being very careful with Devlin to get to Dallin, who's hitless on the day. And it's going to be swing and a miss for strike one. Dallin a little over anxious there. Count evens at one. And strike two called, so one and two the count on Dallin. And it's going to be a dribble down the first baseline, and that'll do it. No runs, no hits, so the Giants no unable runs, to score. New York board, Chicago board. So it remains 4-4 four as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Let's see if uh, Briggs is going to hit for himself. He is, and he strikes out. So Maloney 0 for 3 up now with one down. And then it's going to drop in there for a base hit behind the second base bag. So Maloney definitely a threat to steal. Or throw it first. Oh, what's going to happen here? It's going to be a balk. The umpire is going to call a balk on Matthewson. Not happy with that call. So it'll put the go-ahead run in scoring position with nobody out. Stagel up now. One for three. Ball one. 2-0 the count. So Matthewson definitely frazzled. And that's going to fall in there for a base hit. That'll score the go-ahead run. He's going to go for second, and he'll be in there. So there's going to be some action in the pen. The only guy the Giants have. So Chicago takes the lead, 5-4. Dean Chance up now, 0-3, looking to add to the lead. Ball one. 2-0 the count. That's going to be outside with the block. Two and one. Two and two. Matthewson is bearing down now. And he's big strikeout there for Matthewson. So he answers with a strikeout. Two down now. For McCarthy, who's one for two. Strike one. Swing and a miss. One and one the count. One and two now. Ground ball. Again, takes the bag himself, but the Cubs run, get a run and no lead at 5-4 to four five, as we head to the 8th. So, Giants trailing for the first time today. It'll be Gilbert, Matthewson, and Donlin. So, Gilbert strikes out. Oh, boy. Who do the Giants have? Matthewson. Much of a bench here, although Bowerman isn't bad. Sammy Strang. All right, I think we're going to bring in Sammy Strang to pinch hit for Matthewson. For New York. Sammy so Matthewson's day is done. Strang hits a long one, and that is going to be oh, it's caught in front of the wall by Loney for out number two. No and a strikeout. No by Donlin. Chicago five, New York four. Uh, so, Giants go to their pen here with Claude Elliott. Pitching for New York, Claude Elliott. Claude Elliott not faring well. 5.54 and run average, two, four and two. Almost hit, matching his innings pitch for the entire season already, so. So Elliott up to the plate now. I mean, uh, Hoffman up to the plate, 0 for 3 on the day. And that's going to be hit to Devlin. Nice play over to first for out number one. So one down now for Tinker, 1 for 3. And a big strikeout for Elliott, 0 and 2. Uh, two outs now. Casey now, 2 for 2. Strikes out. So nice back to back K's by Elliott. Chicago 5, New York 4. So the Giants need one here to keep the game going. Brown two for four up now. Briggs still out there. 0 and 1. And that's going to fall. Is it going to fall in there? No. So great diving catch by the center fielder Stagel. Robs Brown of extra bases. So a big, big play there by the center fielder. Brings up Bresnahan. He's one for one. He's been hit by a pitch twice and walked. Pops one up behind the plate. This one will go back out of play. So, 0 and 1 the count. Quickly in the hole, 0 and 2 is Bresnahan. 
One and two now. That'll be a base hit. So Bresnahan. Uh, nobody any better, really. So he'll stay in. So McGann up now. Boy, Gann's going to hit away, as is a conference on the mound. Neil back behind the plate. It's going to be ball one outside. 2-0 the count now. And that's going to be a liner foul, just fouled down the th third baseline. So 2-1 and one the count now. And that's a big long one, and it's going, going, going in. That was a weird one. <laughs> so definitely something definitely off there. So two and two the count now. Full count now. And that's going to be... No, nice play. And that's going to be a double play to end the game. Ah, so beautiful play by... It was Hoffman there. Hoffman the tinker to chance there. So, despite not having Tinker's ever as a chance, they do turn the double play, then the game, and the Giants lose a heartbreaker here, 5-4, to four, and now fall to two games out of first. The final score from West Side Park, Chicago 5, New York 4, Chicago has won five in a row, Buttons Briggs picks up the win, he is now 4-4 four and four on the season, Christy Mathewson picks up the loss, he is now 7-5, and five. time of the game, two hours, 11 minutes. So Matthewson not very sharp today. Picks up the loss. So let's go through the batting. Don uh, for the Cubs. Maloney one for four, the run scored. Stagel, Slagle, two for four with a RBI. Chance one for four with two runs scored. McCarthy one for three with an RBI. Hoffman 0 for four with an RBI. Tanker, one for four with a with a run scored. Casey, two for three with an RBI with a run scored an RBI. O'Neill, zero for three, and Briggs, one for three with an RBI. So I think we're going to give the uh, player of the game to Slagle. Uh, he was two for four with an RBI, but also he made a great catch to rob the Giants. I believe it would have been the would have put the tying run in scoring position in the eighth there. But he made a great diving catch. Let's take a look at the pitching here. Uh, yeah, Briggs was not sharp, but he pitched good enough. So for the Giants, two for five, Donlin with an run scored. Brown, two for five also with a run scored. Bresnahan, two for two, hit by a pitch twice and walked with an RBI and a run scored. McGann was 0 for three. Again, could not get the clutch hit when needed. One for four for Mertes with an RBI. Devlin one for four with an RBI. One for three with an RBI and a run scored. Dolan, second game in a row without a hit. 0 for four. Gilbert one for three with a walk. Matthewson 0 for three at the plate with an RBI. Strang 0 for one as a pinch hitter. Elliott did not get in that bat. So let's look at the pitching. So uh, Briggs gets the win, four and four, nine innings pitched, complete game, nine hits allowed, four runs, both of them earned, all of them earned, four walks, six strikeouts, 151 pitches. So Matthewson, seven, seven innings, allowing nine hits, five runs, all of them earned, one walk, four strikeouts, 115 innings pitched, I mean 115 pitches. Elliott came in and pitched a scoreless eighth. Striking out two. He was sharp. Miscellaneous. Donlin and Matthewson with errors. Did not prove costly, though. Extra base hits by Slagle and Tinker. Also Casey. So the Giants, without an extra base hit, they did have a stolen base by Devlin, his ninth, and Brown, his seventh. Chance also got his 15th by the Cubs. And Casey, his seventh. 
Uh, Bresnan was hit by a pitch twice. MVP button breaks. Eh, maybe. I don't know. He did help his own cause with a hit, so I guess it will give a tie between Briggs and um, the center fielder there for his diving catch. So let's look at the score sheet here. That is for the Giants. And that is for the Cubs. So let's look at the Cubs in the eighth inning. Yeah. Uh, where was the diving catch here? I think this was it right here. Yep. The diving catch for Brown by the center fielder here. As it was a single the next at bat, so. So that was definitely a big a big catch there as that could have scored the tying run. Alright, the recap. And the play-by-play. -play. So, yeah, let's take a look at the New York. Yeah, strength fight deep down the right field. No, that wasn't it. Here it is. Uh, the ninth. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't the center. Maybe it was the right fielder. I thought it was the center fielder, though. Oh, here it is, right here, the ninth. It was the ninth inning that Brown flied to center. Yep. Yeah, and then there was a single. So, yep. So that was a big, big catch there by the center fielder there. Um, stay Slagle. So we'll give him and uh, Briggs the co-MVPs of the game. So that's it. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming as the Giants now. Let's take a look at the standings. So now they're two games out of first. So we'll be back with game two here from Chicago. So let's see if the Giants can get that game back. Thank you for joining me. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you in the next New York Giants 1905 dead ball season replay. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.